This is the whole Kamala campaign is all about leaning into and leaning on celebrities, mm -hmm. hoping that they can carry her across the yep. finish line. The last several days were filled with obnoxious mm -hmm. appearances, ads, all kinds of stuff with celebrities. I I heard, I don't know if this is true, but I saw this rumor floating around that Harrison Ford, the ad that you're about to see, what he was paid $7 million oh to God. make this ad. <laughs> So here it is. Just hold on. And it's the black and white thing. Look, um, I've been voting for 64 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never really wanted to talk about it very much. But when dozens of former members of the Trump administration are sounding alarms, saying, for God's sake, don't do this again. You have to pay attention. The truth is this. Kamala Harris will protect your right to disagree Bullshit. with her about okay. policies oh my God. or ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, as we have done for centuries, we'll debate them. We'll work on them together. Yeah, okay. And we'll move forward. The other guy, he demands unquestioning loyalty. Bullshit. Says he wants revenge. Oh, my God. I'm Harrison Ford. I've got one vote, same as anyone else, and I'm going to use it to move forward. I'm going to vote for Kamala Harris. Yeah, because I got money for this ad because I got paid really well to do this ad. Either that or it's like, I mean, it can't it's 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 probably not Diddy. It's it's probably Epstein <laughs> or I don't know, or his wife, who's 30 years younger than him, telling him what to do, because like a lot of these celebrities have wives who are a lot younger and they're like, you have to do this. Because I control you. And she probably controls everything that he does. So she's like, okay, do this. Oh my God. And he's like, all right, I'll take the however many millions that they gave me to do this and I'll do it. What does he care? They're all and establishment. Who are the people that listen to this guy and think, no, oh, well, well, I was I was really, really waiting for that Indiana Jones endorsement to figure out who I'm going to vote for. Seriously? I don't, don't want to know those people. I don't know. I'm a, Maybe there's some people out there that are, und, I don't know how you're undecided at this point. You are weak and pathetic if you are undecided <laughs> at this point, but I guess some of those people exist. And if Harrison Ford is going to sway you one way or the other, God help you. God yeah. help you. And you remember how I can't, was it in Pennsylvania that she showed up, that Kamala showed up with um, Bruce Springsteen on mm -hmm. stage and how bad he sang, remember? Yeah. And how he looks like Megan Rapino now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. And he did like the acoustic version of Dancing in the Dark. And it was just so Cringe. subdued and not good. Right. Same thing happened mm -hmm. with John Bon Jovi, who also appeared on a Kamala stage to sing. Um, what's the main song? What's the song? You got to hold on for what, what, what you got. got. It doesn't mean really living you know on a prayer. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah. So that one also got acoustified. Mm -hmm. And it is so bad you guys gotta hold on to what we got doesn't make a difference if we're making or not we got each other that's a lot for love we we'll give it a shot in home <laughs> if we fail oh. Take my hand, hey. make it, I swear, yeah. Oh, it on a prayer. Please, for the love of God, make it. My make name it is out. John Bon Jovi. Oh, oh, yes. And I am very proud to be here today in support of Kamala Harris and Tim Walls to be the very next president and mm. vice president He's of reading the that. United States of America. I want that. He's totally reading it. He looks like somebody's hip granny. <laughs> and he's reading that, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> he totally does. And then in Michigan, I believe Michael Stipe from REM showed up. Oh my lead. god! I know it just he's alive. He is no alive. No idea he's alive. Good for him being alive. He showed up to lead the crowd in a spelling thing. Mm -hmm. Here's how that went. Vice President. Is he bloated? All right, everybody he here, like? give me a V. Oh, give me a, a O. Oh. Give me a T. Oh. Give me an E. G. It's fun to get out the. Oh. 
Oh my no. God. Michael It's fun to get out the V O T E. It's fun to get out the V O T E. All right, you take it from there. Let's just just shut up or sing shiny happy people and just just get off the stage. Stop it, Michael. It's so stop. Bad. It's just so stop. Bad. <laughs> shiny happy, happy people, people. <laughs> holding hands. <laughs> and okay. then there was the tears. Mm. The tears. Here we from go. The actress known as J Lo. God I bless her. I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional, <laughs> but you know what? Uh. You know what? You know what? We should yeah. be emotional. Yeah. Really? We should be upset. We should be scared and outraged. We should. Our pain matters. We matter. Mm. You matter. Your voice and your vote matters. And, and look, don't be afraid to make people around you uncomfortable. Oh, Invite yeah. Invite people around you to be the change, mm -hmm. to go out there and vote. Nobody likes having tough conversations or talking about politics, but trust mm -hmm. me, I've been in some of these rooms. I see the way power works in this country. They love it when you do nothing. And this election is about your life. Yeah. It's about you and me and my kids and your kids. Yeah. Don't make it easy. Make them pay attention to you. Yeah. That's your power. That's your <laughs> Girl, power. you have no power. Your vote is your power. Girl, you were Diddy's ex-girlfriend. You are his ex-girlfriend. So now the power lies with them telling you what to do. <laughs> like, exactly. And audacity. maybe someone who was like P. Diddy's girlfriend isn't someone I want to look to for right. good judgment about yeah. anything. Maybe take all the seats. <laughs> Diddy's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I'm cut. It's so obvious what she's doing. This product from Field of Greens, well, it is Field of Greens. It is a green health powder that you take a scoop of, you mix it in some water, some milk, if you're, if you're a milk <laughs> fan, <laughs> or like a smoothie or something, and it creates a delicious, healthy drink. And not only is it just a healthy drink, it actually makes you healthier. Did you know... Uh, Field of Greens, they have been approved for a university study that doctors believe may lower your body's biological age. That generally means better health. And they believe in their health properties of Field of Greens so much that if you take it for like, say, three months and then you go and you get your labs drawn and your doctor doesn't see improvement, you get your money back. That's that's how good this stuff is. And it tastes amazing. Like this one, this is the wild berry and it tastes like a blueberry fruit drink. It is delicious, delicious. And so get better health, visit fogchicks.com, F-O-G chicks.com. Use code chicks. You're going to get 15% off plus free shipping on your next order of field of greens. Then there was Cardi B. Oh, <laughs> Cardi, Cardi B. B. She also had some teleprompting issues. And in mm. fact, it just plain wouldn't work for her. So she just kind of stayed on the stage and waited and called out for her assistant patients to bring her a phone when she could then read her speech. So here's Cardi. One second, guys. One second. She needs, to, she needs to read. She has no idea why she's supporting Kamala. No clue. No idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't take lightly the call. Sorry, oh guys. God. I'm a little nervous. Really? I'm a little nervous, guys. I've been waiting for this moment this whole life. My whole life. I need patience over here. So, patience, where are you, girl? So much money is given to these people. I need patience over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So cringe. My God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How are you guys doing tonight? Unreal. How are you guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? to make history? Yeah. Are we 
ready to change these four years. No, are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're going to make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. Where's patience? Thank you. Here's what you have I to say. I believe in every word that comes out of her mouth. She's <laughs> passionate. Oh, she's my God. She's compassionate. She shows empathy. And most of oh. all, she is not delusional. Most of all, she's yeah. not delusional. Yeah. Kamala recognized that this country is at risk. Trash. That the economy needs to get stronger. That the cost of food and the cost of living is too high. Damn, it's even high for me. Oh, my God. I believe her when she says, under her, buying eggs and milk won't break the bank. Because really? she's going to pass a ban on price dodging on groceries. Yeah. What did, what did she say? And she told me that in my face. So she better not lie to me in my face. Just get ready, girl, because she's oh my, doing nothing but lying. She, she already <laughs> lied to you. You, I, Wasn't she a stripper who used to, like, steal from people to make money? Because yes. that tracks with the whole Democrat thing. It tracks. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, these people so, trash. Utter trash. I'm sorry. And if yeah. you can judge me all you want for saying that, but that, and then they have the audacity to clutch their pearls over mm -hmm. things that Trump says on his, oh my God, oh my God. She was a stripper who used to steal from dudes. And they put her on a podium and she's like, I'm totally voting for Kamala because she said she was going to bring prices down. She hasn't done that in four years, Cardi. 